The holiday weekend is here, and that means more people will be out on the roads and on the water. WSAB's Tyler Nicole spoke with local boaters, captains, and law enforcement about what you need to know to stay safe while having fun. Fun on the water is a big part of holiday activities for friends and families, but one moment of reckless fun involving alcohol could change lives forever. According to the American Boat Association, boating under the influence is the leading cause of death while on the water. Be safe, be courteous on the water, watch out for other boaters and uh, have fun. That's the goal for all boaters this holiday weekend because the Labor Day holiday accounts for one third of all accidents and death on the water. Seato Captain Aston Gay says having a checklist will make your day a lot smoother and help you avoid accidents. Some things I would do is go over a checklist. So make sure you know you have your phone fully charged, you have enough fuel in your boat, your batteries are charged, um, do a little checklist of the boat, make sure that all the plugs are in the boat and correct and working so that you're not getting water in your boat. Gay also recommends having working navigation systems so you aren't stranded in the water, especially for those renting boats and families new to the water. Check your navigational maps, um, plan a route where you're going so that you know, you know, what what kind of dangers you could have on the way there. Last thing before you go have some fun in the sun, the Georgia DNR wants to remind you there are no warnings on the sea, so be safe and smart. There are no warnings for boating under the influence. Uh, the warning you get is the one are, that are watching on your station right now. That's the only warning you, they're going to get because if we find them intoxicated, we have no choice but to take them to jail. If you're arrested for BUI, you're looking at a fine of up to $1,000 and you could potentially lose your boater license or jet ski license. So remember, just like when you're driving a car, make sure you have a designated boat captain and drink responsibly while on the water. Reporting in the Atlantic Ocean, Tyler Nicole, WSAB News 3, on your side.